it was nice to start well because you know we talked to you during the week about you know the the start against Saracens. They're a very difficult team to chase the game against, so it was always positive just having our noses in front. Um, you know, even though we you know we wrote a look a little bit maybe just on half time, but that was a big moment I thought in the game, uh, managing to hold them out, um, getting that turnover just from that from that second line that they had. So, uh, which gave us that positive momentum going into the second half, and I thought we started the second half pretty well. Uh, generally played the game in, in the right areas and um, you know carried well um, and were accurate around the rook as well so um, nice try from from Dan obviously with that little bit of interplay with with James Ryan um, you know and James did James loaded well to power himself over from what about 10 minutes later so um, we just created that bit of separation which was made it a little bit more comfortable in the uh, in the box only a little bit it's probably more off the back of us being a little bit passive, you know, so sitting off Saracens and we just sat off them a little bit, which allowed them to play um, and they were just eking out yards and it's that momentum when you start giving up those yards, you're more likely to concede a penalty off the back of that. So it was it was just be a little bit braver, you know, so making sure we, we got good amount of numbers on our feet so we can be a little bit more aggressive um, and I thought for the most part in the second half we were a lot more aggressive. Obviously got in from, from that line out, Maul, which was disappointing, but for the most part, our defence was we were a lot more aggressive coming off the line together. The players worked incredibly hard, you know, off the back of you know in terms of what they've come off themselves. So um, some guys came back in and we looked pretty rusty. The guys that played against uh, Ospreys, um, so it, that was a good tough physical contest against uh, against them. Um, with the guys that had been more st starting the games during the Six Nations, it was important that they freshened up. So, you know, they, they took some information away the previous week, that Ospreys week. And, you know, to be fair to them, they all came in and um, they trained well this week. And that preparation, I thought, was, was, was good. And, you know, the communication there between between the national manager and then ourselves has been good as well. So, um, yeah, it's important that we try and manage the group well. Um, and yeah, like it's just we'll assess and see how everybody is. Um, you know, another big game against uh, against Ever on Saturday uh, back in the ODS and Treviso the week after. And um, you know, it's good that our <coughs> the A team had a good win as well. Obviously on Friday night in the British and Irish Cup competition as well. So you know, it's uh, the group is very very motivated at the moment. And um, yeah, we uh, yeah we. <laughs> We uh, we were came well and truly second place against Scarlets last year, and that was with Scarlets with 14 men for what good chunk of the game. So um, we know it's going to be a tough challenge. We need to focus on the things that are important to us in the lead into games. Um, you know, for, you know, we we played Scarlets. You know, if you think about Europe in this competition, um, you know, we played Scarlets twice during the Six Nations and two very very close games. And I know there's both teams were missing a lot of players due to being away on international duty but it's uh it's uh you know Scarlets as I said, you know, they're they're a team that caused a hell of a lot of trouble. So um we've full respect for them and the players will be well and truly focused um when that game comes around. It's tough on Johnny because you know he's been played off the ball a few times during the first half and you know it, it's hard for him not to get frustrated. So um I'll have a look back at the game and some of those clips again. So you know there's three or four instances I can see that he's been hit played late off the ball so um, I'll have to have a look back at it and what, how that, how that unfolds. Okay, because uh, I think it's important just to take all those things in the context of the game.